Hi there. Today I'd like to share with you this equation which is y equals y plus 1. And the question then is can this equation be solved? Is this equation possible? Is y equals y plus 1, is it mathematically possible? So if you'd like to think about the answer, click on the pause button in the bottom left hand corner. Otherwise, I'm going to go straight into the answer. So the answer then is that y equals y plus 1 is not possible mathematically. So if you think about it, say you put in, uh, put in a, a few numbers just to test it. Say you put in y equals 1. Uh, to test it, then you've got 1 plus 1 equals 2. Then suddenly you've got y equals 1 and y equals 2. So whatever number you put in there, in either side of that equation, you're never going to get it um, to, uh, to work mathematically because uh, y always has to be increased by 1. So it just never works. But this equation is very common in computer programming and down here I've got some uh, sample uh, uh, code from Visual Basic uh, from Microsoft Excel and you can see down the bottom here we've got uh, that equation y equals y plus 1 as part of that code. So with this code then you can if we just follow y through then first of all we tell the program that y is an integer which is a whole number we initialize it and tell them that it's uh, zero to begin with um, we select range a1 which is the top left hand corner of excel that that top uh, left hand corner cell a1 and then we do this loop um, while ever y equals, uh, well, while ever y is less than 10. And you can see down here, every time y goes through it, it increases by 1. So it starts off with 0, it goes first of all through the loop, and it becomes uh, 0 plus 1 equals 1. So y suddenly becomes 1, and then it goes around again, and then the next time, because y is now, is now uh, 1, through this now through the second time through the loop then y equals 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2 and then y becomes 2 and you keep going down through that loop until y is no longer less than 10 and then you drop out of it uh, and then we've got some other bits of coding there which uh, selects the active cell which is a1 and then that active cell drops by 1 um, every time you go through that loop so here's my uh, laptop screen and I've got, uh, I've got Microsoft Excel opened and I've already got this code copied into the Visual Basic section of, um, of Microsoft uh, Excel. And I'm just going to run that code then. I'll call up. I've just called up the macro and it's called test. And there we go, run test. And if I hit enter then, I'm going to run that macro. And just watch that first column then. Suddenly it'll have the numbers 0 to 9 appear quite quickly down in that column. So there we go. I'll run, uh, run this bit of code in Excel. And there we go. There's the numbers from 0 to 9 down in that um, in that first column, which is what this uh, little simple little um, Visual Basic macro does. Okay, so if you've not done any coding before in uh, Visual Basic, then um, I'd encourage you to have a go at it. There's lots of tutorials online. Um, it's uh, it's really quite interesting, and you can have a lot of fun with um, with coding. So to the answer to the question then, y equals y plus one. It's not possible in mathematics, but it's very common in computer programming. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.